Assalamu alaikum and hi people, I'm Karmisa. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a cognitive sciences course. Um, this course is actually quite new among people in Malaysia. Even me myself know about this uh, course a few years ago. And even though some people might know about this course, uh, but they will not recommend people about this course or they will not story about this course to others. Because uh, one of the reasons is that uh, they say that this course is um, uh, people who graduate from this course might have the difficulty to find a job that relates to cognitive science. So before we go in deeper, uh, I'm actually a first year cognitive science student in University of Malaysia, Sarawak. So what well, is cognitive science? So basically cognitive science is a scientific studies of the human mind and it is an interdisciplinary field that combining the ideas and methods from psychology, computer science, linguistics, philosophies and neuroscience. A, the broad idea of this course is about how the knowledge is being used, processed and acquired. So with that being said, this uh, course is actually not that theoretical. Of course, it requires memorization. Um, but also, you have to uh, have a deep understanding uh, and you know well about the principle that they use behind it. And of course, you have to apply those in real life situation. So, um, in simple words, I would say cognitive science is like, um, I give you an example, uh, the movie of Wall-E and Chappie. So if you see in that movie, you could see that there is a robot uh, that work with human. So this robot is actually not a normal robot. It is an intelligent robot where uh, what we call it as a artificial intelligence. So this robot actually can work like humans, um, things like human, sort of like that kind of thing. The next point is where can you study cognitive science, especially in public universities in Malaysia? Well, I'm proudly to say that it only offers in University of Malaysia, Sarawak, UNIMAS. So UNIMAS is the first university in Asia to offer these cognitive sciences. Um, I did do some research. Um, actually, there is no other university in Asia that offers these cognitive sciences, even in the private universities. Most of the universities only offers kind of like um, psychologist counseling courses but in UNIMAS they actually um, offer this cognitive science. Moving on to the next point which is the requirement to enter this program. I could say that this program is quite special because both art stream and science streams are eligible to enter this program. Um, but I could say that uh, this course to give much more advantage to those science stream students because um, this course apply a little bit of a at maths knowledge and a little bit of bio. It's not that uh, a lean to it bio, it's just a little bit about the brand kind of stuff. Even though you are an art stream student, doesn't mean that you can't like cop the at math uh, knowledge because in this course, the at math knowledge only applied for like calculus, um, statistic uh, subjects. So yeah, even my friends are from art stream. Uh, they do score better than those uh, science stream students. So it actually depends on your effort to do more practice and fully pay attention during classes. So the real requirement to enter this course is of course, uh, at least your CGPA is 2.0 for STPM, uh, foundations, matriculation, uh, diplomas, or STAM, STAM. Um, and then at least you got a band 2 for your MUAD and a grade E for English, Maths or Ad Maths. So basically that's the whole thing. So next is what do we learn in this course? So um, this course is actually a three years full-time study program. So meaning to say that um, the, the course, the subject are so packed and crammed in every semester. So be ready to have that hectic life in every semester. So what are the subjects in this course? Of course, you will learn about programming, which means that you must know how to code in C++ and Python, and also math, which comprises of calculus, statistic, and discrete math. So discrete math is the easiest math, uh, which is kind of like logic math. And of course, subjects that relate to human behaviors and cognition, such as cognitive psychologies. 
Oh yeah, before that, Cognitive Science is actually under the faculties of Cognitive Science and Human Development, FCSHD and Unimas. And this faculty actually offers four courses, comprises of Cognitive Science, Human Resource and Development, uh, Counseling and Psychologists. As you can see here, there are at least five to six core subjects uh, per semester. So CAD K refers to the subjects that uh, for that particular course, such as for only for cognitive science, psychologists, and so on. While CAN F refers to the faculty course, which every students are compulsory to take it. So basically in year one you will learn about much more about the introductions of cognitive sciences kind of stuff. The toughest part is uh, the basic programming and the foundations of artificial because in this uh, subject you actually need to learn how to code uh, both in a C++ or Python and also you need to know how to analyze the data using the software kind of like Eureka or Rapid Mining. So the last point of this video is that uh, your future career. I know that a lot of people out there having the difficulties to choose. I mean, the graduates out there having the difficulties to choose their jobs related to cognitive science because, especially in Malaysia, we do not have that specific uh, job field yet because we are still uh, under the developing country. But if you are in overseas, it's easy for you to get a job that relates to cognitive science. So these are the least jobs that relates to cognitive science comprises of software designer and developer, software system or web interface designer, system support professionals, system analysts, human factor personnel, consumer product designer, industrial psychologist, consumer psychologists and academicians. But I do believe in three years later, the job list relates to cognitive science will be much more because now we are still under a developing country and also now we're into the industrial revolution 5.0. So definitely our country need more students or graduates from cognitive science. In short, cognitive science is the scientific studies of human mind, human brains, human behavior kind of stuff. And it is a interdisciplinary field that combines the ideas from philosophies, uh, neuroscience, ecology, cognitive science, and linguistics. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.